row 1 dot text, notepad window, text editor, editing, end of, remember this is not teaching man teacher. Microsoft Candidate UI, pane, it is useful for recalling when exam coming man student. Just selected. Blank. Based on G scheme for electronics engineering group. Subject, Advanced Communication System, 17656. These are mostly important questions which is always repeat, form top. To end it reduce repeated changes. X question 1 is more important than 2 in notes. And note warning sign warning sign that this is not all chapter. Download link is below. Advanced Communication Sysidem Chapter 2. Answer 1. Sketch the construction of tunnel diode and write its operations. ANS, Sketch 2M and Operation 2M. Operation Tunnel diode is a thin junction diode which, under low forward bias conditions, exhibits negative resistance useful for oscillation or amplification. The junction capacitance of the tunnel diode is highly dependent on the bias voltage and temperature. A very small tin dot about 5.0 μm in diameter is soldered or alloyed to a heavily doped pellet of N-type GE, GASB, or GAS. The pellet is then soldered to a Kovar pedestal, used for heat dissipation, which forms the anode contact. The cathode contact is also Kovar being connected to the tin dot via a mesh screen used to reduce inductance. The diode has a ceramic body and hermetically sealing lid on top. In tunnel diodes semiconductor material are very heavily doped, as much as 1000 times more than in ordinary diodes. This heavy doping results in a junction, which has a depletion layer that is so thin, 0.01 μm, as to prevent tunneling to occur. In addition, the thinness of the junction allows microwave operation of the diode. Because it considerably shortens the time taken by the carriers to cross the junction. A current voltage characteristics for a typical germanium tunnel diode is shown in figure. Forward current rises sharply as voltage is applied. At point A, peak voltage occurs. As forward bias is increased past this point, the forward current drops, and continues to drop until point B is reached, this is the valley voltage. At point B current starts to increase once again, and does so very rapidly as bias is increases further. Advanced Communication Sysidem Chapter 2. Answer Diode exhibits dynamic negative resistance between A and B therefore, useful for oscillator applications. 2. Draw the construction of pin diode. Describe working principle. Diagram. Operation. Zero bias. At zero bias the diffusion of the holes and electrons across the junction causes space charge region of thickness inversely proportional to the impurity concentration. An ideal I layer has no depletion region i.e. P layer has a fixed negative charge and N layer has a fixed positive charge. Reverse bias, as reverse bias is applied the space charge regions in the P and N layers will become thicker. The reverse resistance will be very high and almost constant. Forward bias, with forward bias carrier will be injected into the I layer and P and N space charge. Advanced Communication Sysidem Chapter 2. Answer. regions will become thinner. So the electrons and holes are injected into the I layer from P and N layers respectively. This increases the carrier concentration in the I layer above equilibrium. Thus resistivity decreases as increase in forward bias.
Therefore low resistance is offered in the forward direction. 3. Describe working of 2-cavity klystron amplifier ANS. In the 2-chamber klystron, the electron beam is injected into a resonant cavity. The electron beam, accelerated by a positive potential, is constrained to travel through a cylindrical drift tube in a straight path by an axial magnetic field. While passing through the first cavity, the electron beam is velocity modulated by the weak RF signal. In the moving frame of the electron beam, the velocity modulation is equivalent to a plasma oscillation. Plasma oscillations are rapid oscillations of the electron density in conducting media such as plasmas or metals. The frequency only depends weakly on the wavelength. So in a quarter of one period of the plasma frequency, the velocity modulation is converted to density modulation, i.e. bunches of electrons. As the bunched electrons enter the second chamber they induce standing waves at the same frequency as the input signal. The signal induced in the second chamber is much stronger than that in the first. When the tube is energized, the cathode emits electrons, which are focused into a beam by a low positive voltage on the control grid. The beam is then accelerated by a very high positive DC potential that is applied in equal amplitude to both the accelerator grid and the buncher grids. The buncher grids are connected to a cavity resonator that superimposes an AC potential on the DC voltage. AC potentials are produced by oscillations within the cavity that begin spontaneously when the tube is energized. The initial oscillations are caused by random fields and circuit imbalances that are present when the circuit is energized. The oscillations within the cavity produce an oscillating electrostatic field between the buncher grids that is at the same frequency as the natural frequency of the cavity. The direction of the field changes with the frequency of the cavity. Used in satellite earth station transmitter as power amplifier. Used in UHF TV amplifier. It is used as a medium, high and very high power amplifier in the UHF and microwave. Ranges. Used as radar transmitter. 4. Draw well labeled constructional diagram of TWT. State any two specifications. ANS, 02 marks for diagram and 02 marks for specification. Or Advanced Communication Sysidem Chapter 2. Answer. Specifications. Frequency operation, 3.1 to 3.5 GHz. Output power, 150,000 watts. Duty cycle, greater than 15%. Gain, greater than 40 dB. Pulse width, greater than 1 millisecond. Modulation, non-intercepting. Working principle. When the applied RF signal propagates around the turn of helix it produces electric field at the center of helix. The RF field propagates with velocity of light. The axial electric field due to the RF signal travels with velocity of light multiplied by the ratio of helix pitch to helix circumference. When the velocity of electron beams traveling through the helix approximates the rate of advance of axial field. The interaction takes place between them in such a way that on average the electron beam delivers energy to the RF field in helix. So the signal wave grows and amplified output is obtained at output of TWT. At a point where axial field is zero electron velocity is unaffected. A point where the axial field is positive, 
the electron coming against it is accelerated and tries to catch up with later electrons, which encounter the RF axial field. A point where axial field is negative the electrons get velocity modulated. And the energy. Transfer from electron to RF field at axial and second wave is induced on helix. Advanced Communication Sysidem Chapter 2. Dot answer. This produces an axial electric field that lags behind original electric field by lambda slash 4. Bunching continues to take place. The electron in bunch encounter retarding field and deliver energy to weigh on helix. The output becomes larger than the input and then amplification results. 5. With neat sketch describe the operation of impact diode. Working. Any device which exhibits negative resistance for DC will also exhibits it for AC IE. If an AC voltage is applied current will rise when voltage falls at an arc rate. Hence negative resistance can also be defined as that property of a device which causes the current through it to be 1800 out of phase with voltage across it. Thus is the kind of negative resistance exhibited by impact diode IE. If we show voltage and current have a 1800 phase difference, then negative resistance in impact diode is proved. A combination of delay involved in generating avalanche current multiplication together with delay due to transit time through a different space provides the necessary 1800 phase difference between applied voltage and the resulting current in an impact diode. 6. Draw the construction of gun diode and describe its working. ANS, 2M diagram, 2M working. Or. Advanced communication sysidem chapter 2. Dot answer. Working. When a DC bias of value equal or more than threshold field of about 3.3 kV slash cm is applied to an n-type GAS sample, the charge density and electric field within the sample become non-uniform creating domains that is electron in some region of the sample will be first to experience the intervalley transfer than the rest of the electrons in the sample. The EF inside the dip, old domain will be greater than the fields on either side of the dipole so the electrons in that region or domain will move to upper valley and hence with less mobility. This creates a slight deficiency of E1S in the region immediately ahead. This region of excess and efficient E1S form a dipole layer. As the dipole drifts along more E1S in the vicinity will be transferred to the U valley, until the electric field outside the dipole region is depressed below the threshold EF. This dipole continues towards the anode until it is collected upon collector, the EF in the sample jumps immediately to its original value, and next domain formation begins as soon as the field values exceeds the threshold values, and this process is repeated cyclically. 7. Describe the bunching process in magnetron with neat diagram. ANS now assume RF oscillations are initiated due to some noise transient within the magnetron, the oscillations will be sustained by device operation. Self-oscillations will be obtained if the phase difference between adjacent anode poles is n pi slash 4, n equals 8, where n is an integer. n equals 4 results in pi mode. Here the anode poles are pi radians apart. The dotted lines refer to the path of electrons in case of static field. The solid lines refer to the electron trajectories in the presence of RF oscillations in the interaction space. The electrona is seen to be slowed down in the presence of oscillations thus transferring energy to the oscillations during its longer journey from cathode to anode. Such electrons which participate in transferring energy to the RF field are called as favored electrons and these electrons are responsible for bunching effect. Advanced Communication Sysidem Chapter 2. Dot answer.
an electron B is accelerated by the RF field. Instead of imparting energy to the oscillations, it takes energy from the oscillations resulting in increased velocity. Hence bends more sharply, spends very little time in the interaction space, and is returned back to the cathode. Such electrons are called unfavored electrons, which do not participate in the bunching process. Rather they are harmful as they cause backheating. Similarly electron C, which is emitted little later to be in correct position moves faster, and tries to catch up with electron A, and an electron emitted at D will be slowed down to fall back in step with the electron A. This results in all favored electrons like A, C, D to form a bunch, and are confined to electron clouds or spokes as shown in fig below. This process is called phase focusing effect corresponding to the bunch of favored electrons around the reference electrona. The spokes so formed in the pi mode rotate, with an angular velocity corresponding to two poles slash cycle. The phase focusing effect of these favored electrons imparts enough energy to the RF oscillations so that they are sustained.